this building stands for this neighborhood. It's also one of the few buildings that stood the, the test of the, the fire of 33. Um, and it has some very interesting history in the development of Lewiston Auburn. You know, this, this was designed by the same architect that had designed the Basilica. Right. It was built before the Basilica, yep. has similar design features and um, why it came to be built, how the diocese in Portland sort of carved out this French Catholic neighborhood apart from St. Peter's and took part of the capital account to build this. this interesting Irish, Portland, French, <laughs> Lewis and Auburn politics of uh, the early 20th century. Um, and I know you've talked to Al, I mean, the, the skyline of New Auburn and how we define this place, this, this building defines the neighborhood. That's, yeah. And it, it always did. So I'd, 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 I'm still committed uh, take the mayor hat off. Of course it's on. There's only, there's only so much the city can do. Yeah. But as a longtime resident of this neighborhood, I think we need to walk down every possible road to keep the fabric of this neighborhood together and could the church play a role facilitating that so while it may not function as a church can the church be seen as more progressive in helping to bring life back to this neighborhood and could partnering with the developer with the real estate in this neighborhood be part of be part of that and that's a conversation that I'm going to start with Father Le Riviere and I've talked with Monsignor Karen a bit about it as well because obviously the the parishes in both cities have real estate that are is underutilized. Is probably an overstatement. It's not utilized. Yeah. The monastery, obviously, the the rectory, Albert Kelsey's old house, uh, and Albert Kelsey's a significant man in Lewiston's history. That sits next to St. Pat's. Um, getting those, getting these buildings back to a, adding value to the community is a way to carry on the heritage of the Catholic faith in this community. And um, while they may not be used for spiritual purposes, could still play a functioning role.